and just playing. I'll be filming like a Saturday Sunday weekend reset routine because my reset routine has been changed so what I'm gonna do that's my coffee Hang on. needed okay what my plans are for today is to show you guys a reset routine that has helped me out whilst having a newborn she's now two months by the way she turned two months yesterday so she's two months and one day, eight weeks and one day to be exact. So I want to show you a reset. She's smiling. With it. I want to show you a reset routine that's been working for me. I take two days off the gym, so I work out five days a week. Three of those days are lower body days. Two is upper, which works great for me and my goals at the moment. And then because um, I have a baby and I have a household to kind of keep up with. Um, I take two days off. One of those days is where I do house cleaning, which is today. And then the Sunday house cleaning, if I go shops, I go shops, which doesn't really happen. I don't go shops on Sunday. I do that on Sunday for my therapeutic mum and daughter day kind of day. And then what I do on the Saturdays is I make two meals. One kind of like pasta because my husband likes it and one chicken and veg bake more than often I do a chicken and veg bake. So I'm going to take out some chicken, I'm going to take out some beef mince. There's going to be two recipes in this video which is a pasta, bolognese, whatever. And then we have the chicken and vegetable bake. It's just going to be basically whatever I have in the fridge. I mean I've got bok choy that I'm going to put into this pasta bake. I mean, what is it? Veg bake because like... I want to use up the veggies I have, you know. Actually, scratch that. We're going to freeze that because I want to make my poached chicken green cup. Shit. I'm oh, whopping 596 grams of chicken. I have to defrost. 250 grams of extra lean beef mince. I'm just making sure we've got chicken on that list. We'll grab one kilo. Okay, cheese mince. That's my shopping list that I do on Monday, which in this video um, I will pop in at the end or whatever in the middle of it because that is a part of my reset routine as well. Okay, so shopping list done. I'm going to write a plan for the day, have my cup of coffee while she's down for a nap and then put on a face of makeup.
one. You guys, I hope that you guys are enjoying this journey. Oh my gosh, exactly one week until day 30. Drugs aside, this is the face of oh. Now we're going to go inside. I'm going to dress and do my outfit of the day, which is just going to be track pants or whatever. to wake up so I thought I'll do all of this now. Okay, it's now 9.10. She's finally awake. So I'm going to go in, not bother wasting any more time and feed her so I can pop her down and then get straight into cleaning. Um, after that, I'll vacuum, mop, and then get into making, like, pre-preparing um, the dinners for the rest of the week and also cleaning out the fridge and stuff too, chucking out whatever needs to be chucked, chucking out the bins and just cleaning up the house. So let's go along. Which is good. She's been sleeping for an hour and nine minutes and then feed has been two hours and 34 minutes in the mornings. So I find that she eats a lot more. And then in the afternoon, it kind of like spaces out from three hours and on. So yeah, let's go and feed Missy. And then during this time, I will catch up with eat stuff as well. Backlit, I know, I'm so sorry. I'm with you when I have a feed. Oh. Okay, she is down for the second nap of the day, which means I'm on a time roll. I'm not going to record this bit, but I'm going to vacuum and also mop the house. Then we'll get into cleaning the fridge and everything.
clear out the fridge. So there's not really much that we need to throw out. So I'm just going to go in with a spray bottle, some glass cleaner, and just wipe it down. Maybe do a little bit of reorganization. all done I've been obsessed with not having anything on my like um, bookshelves and everything so I have put them away I'm going to try and sell them on Facebook marketplace if it doesn't get sold I'll just I don't know donate them or something give them to my sister but all nice and clean the floors have been mopped and I've been obsessed with keeping my my kitchen really really bare so I want my countertops all bare all my coffee station everything all bare as well Missy is somewhat queuing still so she will take about an hour or even fall back to a sleep. So I find that she does this through a sleep cycle. So she'll soundlessly sleep through a sleep cycle, which is like a 45 minute uh, window. And then she'll cue and everything. And if I need to, I'll go and burp her. I'll pop her dummy back in her mouth. But she is still, still fast asleep. When did I feed her? She fell asleep straight after a feed. So it's been an hour and uh, sorry, an hour and 20 minutes she's been asleep. Okay, so I'm going to get straight into cooking. I'm going to boil some pasta first and then I'll go ahead and I'll heat up my oven to cook my chicken and um, all of that in. And I'm also going to boil some potatoes as well because I want it to be a potato kind of bake. I've been cleaning for about 58 minutes. All right, let's get into the cooking aspect of everything. All right, first, I'm going to get out all of the ingredients that I need. Why is this like backlit? Tiny oh, little bit, I'm so sorry. How's that for you? Perfect. All right, so I'm going to get all of my ingredients that I need. My nose is just bleeding, so I am so sorry if you guys can see any blood over there. Um, and I'll also pop my camera on charge as well. I also need to make a phone call to my hairdresser. Let me grab all of my ingredients. Hi Maddie, um, I was just wondering when my appointment was with Jacinta. Here is my two kind of like separate meals. We've got my spaghetti bolognese over here. I'm going to boil the pasta separately and then the bolognese separately in a different like container and put it away like that because sometimes then I will have the bolognese, uh, the beef mixture with like boiled potatoes as well, mashed potatoes. And then we've got our... Uh, veggie bake over here chicken veg bake over here so you know what though i'm thinking maybe put the chicken veg bake away and just make pasta because this can be two meals yes before that defrost any longer because we can use the beef mixture also on potatoes as well i might just boil some potatoes leave them in the fridge and then use it up for a different week you know what i mean so i'm saving money and saving food in that sense rather than it having the potential to go into the bin so i'll pop these away but also boil pasta so i'll keep the potatoes i mean boiled potatoes so i'll keep the potatoes there and then make a um, bolognese
vacuum and my meal is done. Boiling my potatoes and she is just about to wake up. Probably feed her and then have some food myself and then we'll get into like clothing and folding up clothing and all of that stuff. Mm. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, what was that? I knew. p.m. She's down for her fourth nap of the day, fourth or fifth nap of the day. My sister came, dropped me off because tomorrow is Mother's Day and it's my first Mother's Day. So I'll show you what she got me. Let me just um, fold these up. Because she came, um, I spent a little bit of time with her and my niece, so I didn't get time to do this in the afternoon. It doesn't matter because I have all night to myself. Um, hubby's working night shift, so he's gone to work. Sad because tomorrow I'm not going to be able to spend Mother's Day, um, my first Mother's Day, with them, as in my daughter and my husband. I'm going to go to breakfast with my mother-in-law and um, what's it called? Then at night time Ned's going to go to work so I'm going to actually spend it alone which kind of sucks to be honest. But anyway, it is what it is. I spent my birthday alone too so love her for me. So I'm going to fold these up. Ned actually had the potatoes that I boiled for lunch so I'm boiling some more for myself and then he took the pasta and um, the, a little bit of the beef and a bit of the shepherd's pie that I made. Um, to work. She's actually waking up. So I don't know if I'm going to get time to fold these up, but I'll try my luck. All right. Let me just quickly go and grab the present that my sister got because it's like too cute not to show you guys. And look at that. It says, Happy First Mother's Day. It's so cute. <laughs> that is the brand or company over there. And then you guys can read it on there. Andre's Cookies. Lovely small business, but that's what my sister got. Okay, I am going to fold up those clothing and then most likely wake her up for a feed. We'll see how we go. We'll see if she's all nice and quiet or not. But like I said, currently 5.25 or 5.30 now. Um, and yeah, that's my day so far. I've got food in my mouth. 7.30, she's gone down for a nap. I just spent the last hour or so on FaceTime with my mum. But I've got mashed potato and the um the beef mixture for dinner. Oh my god. I like a kid. I get everything dirty. This is so good though. Highly, highly recommend it even better with mashed potato. Ned took the pasta to work. Mm -mm. She has not gone down for half an hour. <clears throat> this has been her. I don't know if she's got a temperature. I want to go in there and check but I don't want to intervene as well. Her cheeks are a little bit pink. But if it's like a little bit high, I think I might give her a little bit of Panadol just to settle her, you know, if she does have a high temperature. Anyway, I'm going to get into my PJs. These PJs were gifted to me by my brother-in-law's, he's not my brother-in-law, he's Ned's family friend, but like, um, I call him my brother-in-law because he's so close with Ned and they've been friends ever since like they were teenagers. But they're just cute little PJs like this. I'm washing my other PJs at the moment and because I just dirtied this, 
I need to put some vanish on it and just wash a piece up or else um, the colour of the oil and the redness will sink into the material. I don't know if I should just go in the hair. I can't stand it when she cries. Clean the kitchen. And I do have some client stuff to do. I've I've sold like two meal plans. The lovely ladies from Instagram bought my meal plans, so I need to sit down and write those meal plans down now. Well, after she goes to sleep, we'll see if she's going to sleep. I did give her a top up. I gave her a feed while I was on the phone to my mum. Don't know what's wrong. We'll see. She goes down for a minute. By this point, it looks like, looks like I'm going to have to go and take her off, eh? But anyway, let me settle her. Then we'll do some skincare together, take this face off. And then sit down and do some meal plan stuff and settle into the night. She is not going down, eh? Hey? She's going to let it rip. Okay, I'm going to take my makeup off. Take two. I'm going to take my makeup off using my cellar water and then I'm going to go in with my Esme Skin Minerals. So first off I'll use the, the Skin Snack Spray and then I'll go ahead with Eye Delight Reflection Eye Balm. And then on top of that I'll go in with the Skin Treat. This is Hyaluronic uh, Hydrating Serum. And then I'll go in with the other Skin Treat which is the 24 Karat Gold nourishing oil. I love doing this like every second day I want to say because I'm not much of a kind of like skincare kind of girl. I'm easing my skin into it. I have like if I'm lucky five minutes to do this. Not even joking because she didn't sleep for like that entire time where she was like from nap to nap to the next feed sometimes she does this i don't know why maybe it's a growth spurt i just hope it doesn't ease into the night because tomorrow we've got a mother's day breakfast at 10 o'clock and the place that um they've decided to go to is called granville which is like 40 minutes away from us unfortunately so i mean we've got to be out of the house by like 9 30 maybe even earlier i've got to have her um like have her breakfast for a feed at six go down for a nap then wake up at like 8 30 order for me to feed till like nine ish and all the while i have to get ready to which is kind of like like when you've got people honestly like when you've got people who have just had a baby like just take it into consideration that that person can't get to places at a set time like even for myself i don't make appointments at the crack of freaking dawn and i know that some people are going to say like crack of dawn is not 10 a.m but look hey for a mum and for freaking parents that haven't had sleep in like two months and they've got a newborn child you know it's kind of hard that is a crack of dawn for me to be honest like i'm not ready by 12. No way, shape or form am I ready by 12. And if I go there with like a face on, or like, how can I say it, like with attitude because I haven't had sleep in the night time, because sometimes like she doesn't sleep and I don't sleep till 3 a.m. And, you know, Ned would come home from work at 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m. and he'll still see me in bed and I'm just there feeding her. And then at four o'clock, after I burped her and yada yada yada, this vlog is, is, isn't even for this, but hey, this rain is really good for me. Yeah, so I like feed her, and by 4, 4 a.m. I go down to sleep myself and wake up at 6 again for a feed and then get up and, you know, get into my day at late 6 o'clock in the morning. So I just put the camera a little bit up. Yeah, my... Your take from this is if you've got family or friends who have just had a newborn, please don't expect much from them. I'm getting my hair done on Tuesday, which is great, because then you won't be seeing extensions all over the train. I hate it when you can see my extensions, it really annoys me. I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. So what I do with my Skin Snack Spray is I don't spray it directly onto my face. 
personally I don't find that very useful. I spray it into my palm and then I'll dab it into my skin, pressing into my skin. It feels much more, I, I get more benefit out of it. So two, three sprays in the palm, rub and then press into my skin. That way it infuses into my skin. It is the Eye Delight Reflection Eye Balm, like that. This one comes with like a nice soothing, um, what's this? It's not stainless steel, what is it? Metal. And then I'll pop that over there, pop that over there, and then give it like a little nice massage on that area. And then with what's left, fingers, and just rub that in. And because my nose is so dehydrated, half the time I've got like cracked skin on there, I take that onto my nose as well. Next step is my Hyaluronic um, Hydrating Serum, this bad boy over here, and I love this stuff. Like, I can go for bonkers using this. Got a generous amount, the whole serum is full. And then what I like to do is plop that onto my hand. Again, using the hands, all on the hands, and then I would rub that all up in my skin and on my neck area. This stuff, oh, this is liquid gold. I love this. Last step before we get this little gremlin up and onto the boob is my 24K oil. You don't need a lot of this. A lot goes a long way, so literally one drop one drop and one drop for the entire face. Oh no, we've got 30 seconds. All right, we're done, sis. And that is all a newborn mom can do at the moment. Why I, I do have the sunscreen that I use every single day as well. All right. Oh no, we've got like 10 seconds, but here is my skin. Very nice, nourished. And that's all a newborn's mother can do at the moment. I reckon my loves, it's now the next day, 8 o'clock. It's actually Mother's Day today, hence the flowers. But if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly uploads. If you guys have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. And I shall see you guys next Monday. Bye.